Alright you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz and this is Simply Homeschool. So today I'm going to be walking you guys through the Abeka reading curriculum for third grade. Now we are using the video led for language arts and Bible this year. So I'm going to kind of show you guys what we plan on doing this year. So what it comes with is all of these readers, the answer key book, and then this is my lesson guide. Now I mentioned that we use the video manual, so she will be learning this with her teacher, but I will also be working with her as a parent led. Um, so I just wanna show you guys through some of these just to kind of give you an idea on how Abeka does their reading program. So right now, before we start, I just wanna say that the left side here is all short stories. Now these books on the right hand side are all story books, so chapter books. These are short stories and chapter books, so they give them both. Um, so let's get started. So first off, I'm gonna show you guys um, how to follow along in the video manual for reading. So I will be doing a separate video on the video manual just in case you guys are interested on how the video manual works. Um, that's always helpful. This is literally like your best friend through homeschooling if you're going to be a video led um, mama. So let's see here. So lesson one, I am going to find reading. Here is reading here. So they're saying that the kids are going to be reading from page one through seven. This book is going to be, let's find what book they want us to read, have um, from shore to shore. So what they usually do is they use abbreviations for the books. So later on, you'll notice in the book that it'll just be an abbreviation. So STS is shore to shore. So that would be this book here. So I would want to have this book ready for her to read. Another trick to that is if you look up at the top left hand corner, you'll see that this says 3A and they continue on. So this is 3D. So you can tell which book you're on as well because of the, the letter up at the top. So third grade book A. So here again, it says focus. Okay, real quick. Down this center here is all preparation. So this is basically what the teacher is going to be um, teaching them. And then on the right hand um, column here is for procedure. So this is basically what you need to do as a mom to make sure that they have everything they need for the video teacher. So here it says focus on these skills in the next sec uh, several lessons. Demonstrating accuracy in pronouncing words and reading sentences using correct enunciation, identifying the moral of a selection. So anytime you see this little board here, it just means to write it on your board for them to see, or they will actually see it on the teacher's board because she will have that up in her classroom. But these are the three words they want you to display, peer, palm, and toward, and then have from shore to shore ready daily. Here over in procedure, it says make sure students have class materials ready. So it's just saying make sure your child has what they need for this lesson. And then you just simply play the video. After the video is done playing, you're going to, um, let's see, after watching the video instruction, have students read the words displayed. Have students read orally. Check comprehension STS pages 1 through 7. Review words to watch for. Okay. So, and then it's telling you to refer to the reading three answer key for the questions and answers to check comprehension along with additional information. Okay, so what they're talking about, let me get into the next thing here and I'll show you the book. Okay, so moving on from the video manual, if you are gonna be doing this with your child without doing the video manual, um, this is a great key to use. So what you would do is you would open up and say you would start on one like the video manual says. And you would open up this, oops, let me show you. So it shows the first story here is from Shore to Shore. That's what they're gonna be reading here. And then here is your guide for when you're working with your child. So here's My Bed is a Boat, the book introduction. You would read this to your child and go over it with them. So um, be excited as you give from shore to shore to child. 
So they're just telling you to, you know, be encouraging and, you know, excited when you read it to them. Talk about the cover, the title page, back of the title page, and then the contents page. Point out everything to them. And then here they're going to want you to, um, this is called the illustration observation. So can you tell from the picture what the boy has been doing on his bed? And then it'll, it says answers will vary because not every child's going to say the same thing, but they give you an idea like he was playing with his toys and reading stories because the toys on the floor in the story, obviously, in his hand, the book. Um, if the boy's hat is a clue to what he is pretending, can you tell me what he is doing? So if you look at his hat, what do you think he's doing, right? Okay, so moving on from talking to them about that, you're going to move on to page one, which is a poem and it's using um, imagination. So reading the poem, you wanna introduce the poem. Do you like to use your imagination when you play? The author of this poem likes to use his imagination when it is time for him to go to bed. What does the title tell you about this poem? Okay, and then they're gonna obviously think about it. So they're gonna read and then, um, then you just ask them these questions. And it shows it here. Where's the boy in this poem? Says the same thing here. Your child's going to give you the answer. And then that is it. You're going to move on to the next, the next page, which is a story. Here it tells you the story theme, enjoyment, creativity, and family. Um, and then reading the story. But you're going to introduce the story before you start reading it to them. Again, you read that. And then once they get to page three, Okay, which is here. Once they finish it, you're gonna ask this question. Then once they're done answering, you're gonna move on. They're gonna read four, they're gonna read all of five, and then you ask these questions. And then you're gonna talk about the illustration and they tell you what you can ask. And then you're gonna move on to six. You're gonna read six and then you're gonna ask these questions. It says continued. Now remember, this is all lesson one that they want you to do with them. Now it is completely up to you on how you want to do your um, lessons daily, um, but this is the guide that they want you to use. Okay, so here is page seven. They are gonna have you um, ask these questions. And then this is an enrichment activity you can have them do. And that is it. So like compare, contrast, Venn diagram, draw a diagram on a board or paper, have child list characteristics that belong to Corey Sandcastle, characteristics that belong to Emma's Sandcastle, and characteristics that the castles have in common. So you could do this with them. And that is it for lesson one. So then it just moves on to lesson two for the next day. And what you would do is it says page eight through 13, you would work on eight through 13 with them. Um, let me move this out of the way. So this just continues throughout the year and it will move on to the next story. So the next story would be my new song and you just, you just continue it just like that, you guys. Um, so I'm not gonna show you all of this because literally that is what this book is, is it's questions and just kind of giving you a guide on how to do it with your children. Um, in the back of this book, where's the last page? In the back of this, there are some little blank pages. I'm not sure if you wanna use these for the diagramming and stuff with your kids so it doesn't go to waste. That's completely up to you. Now with what is good about a Becca is they kind of, use everything together. So their reading program really goes with their writing program. Um, for instance, with their writing, they will, not writing, I'm sorry, with their language, they will be working on how to lay out book reports and elements of a report. Um, and then with their writing, they will actually be learning how to do the book report um, through their writing class. So these really do kind of go hand in hand with Abeka's, um, Abeka's curriculum for their language. Now, if you just wanted to purchase the readers to read with them and, you know, just to have extra reading material to add to your library, you can totally do that. But they do kind of go hand in hand with what they are learning in the other subjects. Now, with these two books, these are the books that they're going to be doing for their book reports. Um, 
and originally I was not going to use their reading program but once I started looking into everything literally you guys it's it's really used together so I am going to have my daughter do the reading program with a Becca um, for her actual like curriculum sort of learning and then we're going to do a lot of read alouds and just reading when we're you know going to bed and stuff like that so anyways besides the point these are the two book reports that they're going to be working on and let me just show you what i am talking about with the language okay so here in their language it shows the elements of the book. So they're gonna be learning this in language with the video teacher, and then they will have a layout for the book report. And when they work on the book report, they will actually be writing the book report with their writing class. So I wanted to point that out and how it kind of correlates with the actual reading that they're gonna be doing. Um, so if you guys want to stay um, on the channel and continue watching, I'm just going to flip through these books so you can see what the inside looks like and um, what their characteristic traits are. So among the animals, this one is um, a short story. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit for you guys. And this is all about compassion, courage, diligence, enjoyment, friendship, God's care, God's creation, helpfulness, humility, um, kindness, leadership, loyalty, obedience, resourcefulness, safety, and wisdom. So they have some poems in here. They put verses in here. They do have questions in each of these books, like I mentioned. Um, here's little, um, this is like an acting story, the animals in the mirror, different characters. So this is basically what their readers look like. I don't want to like flip through every single page for you guys, but they do have pictures in them full of color. You know, our kids at this age really like to still have pictures in their books. Um, at least mine does. Helps them paint that picture that they're reading. Um, kind of brings it to life. Now, I am not going to lie. My daughter tends to get a little bored with some of their books. Um, but personally, I think that they really truly are good books to read as far as teaching them morals and um, how to be better little people, you know? So here are some of the pages in this book.
Okay, so in the back of this book, um, they're going to want to write from Ella's point of view about important details of each chapter. So chapter one, I am, they're going to write about her and then my family about them. That's pretty cool. Right, you guys so those were just a glimpse into these books and how Abeka does their reading programs um, let's see here there's that and yeah so that is it you guys I hope this was helpful I have a playlist on my channel for first grade second grade sixth grade and I will be working through third grade now we did not do the complete Abeka curriculum I do have um, other subjects through different companies but if you are interested in seeing what we have don't forget to hit that subscribe the like and the notification bell and thanks guys for checking out this channel i hope it was helpful to you and be blessed always